Hi, kid time friends and families. It's Miss Ashley again and Olivia. Olivia. And we are here today to show you an art project you can do at home with coffee filters. Leo's not going to do it. That's okay. That's his choice. But you yeah. chose to do it, right? Yeah. And we're going to do coffee filters three different ways. So here's my test run I did just to make sure it worked. This is a project we do at school often with markers. Um, the kids will just color whatever design they want on the coffee filter and then do droplets of water and watch the ink spread around. Um, I don't have eyedroppers at home, so we just use good old fashioned uh, watercolor brushes. This one is made out of food coloring. Um, this was not something I had tried before. It was an experiment. I took food coloring and watered it down in these little dishes. Um, it didn't turn out to be as concentrated as I expected, but still kind of fun if you don't have watercolors on hand. Um, another way to make wa liquid watercolors at home, because I know most people don't have them at home, this is a trick Miss Bree and Miss Jessica taught me. Take your old markers that are dried out and stick them in a cup with water, and it might take a few days to a week for it to get really concentrated, but this will kind of turn, um, the water into liquid watercolor. So that's one option also, but it takes a few days. Um, the third way that we we're doing our tie-dye um, coffee filters was with just good old-fashioned watercolors. So what you, you'll do is kind of like a tie-dye t-shirt if you've ever done that. You'll twist it up real tight and put rubber bands in two to four places and then have them just totally cover it in colors or just put a little color however they want to do it and when it comes out it kind of looks like a tie-dye t-shirt so we're going to try the three different ways today so olivia has already um colored her coffee filter with markers are you done coloring yeah okay so now we're going to use the when she's done coloring ah. Do you need some help? Yeah. And they can color as little or as much as they want. And if you don't have coffee filters on hand, because I know a lot of people use the pods now or the K-Cups, they're usually at every dollar ninety-nine cent store, and obviously they're cheap. I got coloring. Okay, let's try the water. Here, I'll help with the lid. You want to start with the water? Yeah. So you could do little drops. You can brush it like you're painting. You can get a lot of water or a little bit of water. But you'll see how the colors bleed together. And it looks really cool. Do you see the colors moving? What do you see, Olivia? I see it. Turning into black. Yeah, some colors are changing. Are you all done with doing the water? That's okay, that's what the placemats are for. As you can see, we've covered the table in newspaper and placemats to make cleanup easy. And that's the marker one. You can also, if you want to do it tie-dye style, you can wrap it up like I showed you before. Just a moment. Hi friends, we're back. Um, our dog Rascal was just letting us know that the mailman was here. So here we are to finish our art video. Um, now we're gonna move on to the, what are we doing now? These colors. These food coloring colors that we watered down. What colors did you choose? I choose the green, orange, and purple. Okay, so now she's gonna use her brush and use the different colors to cover her tie-dye. Do you want to say hi to any of your friends? No, nothing. Okay. okay. Uh, while Olivia's doing that, I'm going to tie up another one of these. I also um, just thought about, how can I set this up? 
I also just thought about how, hi, you could, if you don't have copy filters and you don't want to go out, obviously, you could just use paper towels too. Paper towels work very similarly in absorbing and moving the color around. See, I'm just twisting this as hard as I can. Not as hard as I can, pretty hard. And then I'm gonna put rubber bands in three done. different places. You're done? Okay, we're gonna let that one dry. Let me finish wrapping this one up and we'll move on to the watercolors. What's the watercolors? I like that. In your palette there. Also, if you don't want to do this tie-dye thing, you can also just let them paint it with the colors or the food color. I didn't color. mix them. Okay. They don't um, and that's fun too, because it's just exciting to see how the colors move through the absorbent paper. Oh. All right, so there it is, the twisted up thing. Here's your second one. And so now you can take your brush. Hold on, we're gonna move on to the next kind. We did that kind. And we could do more when we're done with our video, but let's show our friends the last kind of paint you can do. So I'm talking about these watercolors. So you can paint this whole thing with your watercolors. And I have these for you too. So with the one she just did with the food coloring, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I open it up. And we'll see if it looks tie-dye-ish. Would you like this to move over here? Yeah. So Olivia's just going to paint her little tie-dye twist there, and then we will open it up to see if it looks like tie-dye. But like I said, you can also just have your kids um, color on it with markers or paint it with watercolors. It's just a fun kind of medium to paint on. Change your pace from paper. I know we're probably all cycling through all the different materials we have. All right, friends. Well, thank you so much for watching our art video. If you have any questions, just comment or email. Um, this is just a fun, easy art activity. You can do a couple of different ways at home. You could even space it out. You could do markers one day, watercolors the next day. Just space it out and have a variety of things to do. Are you done painting already? Yeah. Okay, you want to take the rubber bands off? Yeah. See what it looks like? The watercolor dries a little faster than the food coloring. Mama, I changed a little bit. I changed a little bit. On your building? Yeah. Can I help? How did you do can you, can you do me a favor? Can you hold the, fo the camera for me and I'll do that part? No, Just to speed it up a little bit? Okay. Where you want me to help? All of these. Yeah. Can you show this part? Is it two orange and one brown? I what does a do square this. button I want to do. do this. Okay, buddy. What can I do next? I don't think the second. Okay, Olivia. Do you like it? Yeah, look what I made. Very good. Who is this? Okay, talk to you guys soon with more projects and books. Who's Miss ours? you. Bye-bye.